let us go back in time to the 1988 Mr. Olympia event. You can see Lee Haney there snapping a most muscular pose. He won this event, of course. I believe Rich Gaspari placed second, Barry DeMay in third, and Lee Labrada. You can see a little bit of a distended stomach actually there for Lee Labrada. He placed fourth, and way back in the background, in the foreground, there is Gary Stridham. And he placed fifth, and in my opinion, that's fairly controversial. But we're going to ignore every one of these other guys, including, uh, what's his name there? Mike? Mike something. And we're just going to focus on Gary Stridham and Lee Haney. And this is a fan request, actually, and I apologize to the fan that did request this. I was supposed to get this out a while ago, but it took some doing because there's honestly not a lot of pitcher comparisons between these two. I mean, there's this famous one of the side chest, and this creates a lot of controversy. Lee Haney is losing this one, in my opinion, and the opinion of a lot of others. I mean, look at that chest of Gary Stridham. This is actually a photo shoot of each gentleman. But this is a photo shoot from the 1988 Mr. Olympia event. So this is the versions that they brought. And from the legs to the upper body, Gary Stridham definitely beating Lee Haney. But this is one pose, guys. I also would say that Gary would probably defeat Lee Haney in the side tricep. So that's two shots, really. That's the side shots. And this is controversial, really. I mean, from the physique alone, Lee Haney probably is a little bit better. I mean, look at the chest, undeniable. But when you focus on the tricep development itself, as Mikey Iron Rage says, it's pancake time. It is a little bit of a flat, pancakey type tricep for Lee Haney. But see, if you show any of the front shots, like the front lat spread, and I believe the front double by, Lee also would have got. But this one here... This is a blowout shot, so whatever Gary got from the side chest shot, this is doubly the victory for Lee Haney. I mean, look at that lat spread. That's not a very clear picture, but you can plainly see that this is just one of the best front lat spreads of all time. And if there was any controversy, Lee Haney was defeating Gary from any back shot. Any back shot. You can see the width. There is conditioning. I will say, Gary has the edge in conditioning. Look at the lower back, look at the glutes, and obviously Lee Haney never ever had striated glutes, and his lower back always had a couple of little wrinkles in it. But having said that, there's no way, shape, or form Gary would catch Lee Haney sleeping in any back shots. Now, I know I show the most muscular, and when I don't explain myself, I always get comments saying, oh, that wasn't a mandatory shot. Well, it was, kind of. What do you think the pose down was for? They were focusing in on that most muscular nine times out of ten, and they always hit it from back in the 70s. They were hitting the most muscular shot, and the judges were looking at it. Lee Haney, bigger, broader. But Gary Stridham battles back with just fantastic thin skin and striations, striated to a T. So take your pick. It's a pick em in the most muscular, but it wasn't a mandatory shot, I will say. This was, however, the ab and thigh shot. I couldn't find one of Lee Haney from 88. This is from 89, I believe. And he was pretty consistent. So it is safe to say Stridham would most certainly have gotten the victory in the ab and thigh shot. My soul, look at those striations in those obliques of Gary Stridham. Wow, what a lean version. And having said that, that completes all the pitcher comparisons that I do have. And at this time, we will look at a little video comparison. Ooh, there's Barry DeMay. A little bit of a bonus in this one. There's Gary. Much more ripped than Lee. You could see in that close-up shot. You'll have to excuse the footage. It's not the best. But we're happy to present this here at Mark's Max Muscle. More ripped, yes, but not as big as Lee. The shoulders. Front double bicep. That small waist of Lee is going to get this one every time for him. And Gary, not the most impressive peaks in the world. Lee, not the best arms in the world either. Decent. Front lat spread, just blasting these two white men out of the whatever. Is Lee Haney? 
don't worry, I'm racially friendly. I like white people, any type of race. I got a couple different ones in myself. Side chest pose. See, Gary's going to get this one every time. You notice his hamstring. He was one of the first gentlemen to develop that hanging hamstring, or at least display it. Now, I know you glute haters are going to get mad at this, but look at the glutes. And that's before they were fashionable. And nowadays, you never know the way the judges would vote. But, I mean, look at the width of Lee Haney's back. There's just too much girth in the lower lat insertions. It makes Gary's back look, let's face it, puny. And no disrespect meant to Gary Stridham. I know I sound like I'm very mean sometimes, but... Oh, my goodness. Careful. Lee's going to fly away. I was being a little bit funny there. He's not really going to fly away. He's too heavy. Solid bones. No ab and thigh. This is a side tricep, Gary. In which case... I would probably give it to him. Now, I don't know what Lee's problem was here. Back in 87, a year before, I mean, he had a fantastic side tricep. And he was displaying it much better as well. But that's two shots for Gary, two for Lee. And here's definitely one more for Gary. And of course, Lee got the first two shots. It's, it's impossible for Gary to catch up to Lee. Notice Lee snapped a most muscular, but look, Gary didn't realize that, and he did. He did snap one. Because, of course, the judges are looking at that as well. But like I said, there is just no way Gary could have caught Lee Haney. Lee Haney was winning both the front, both the back. Gary was taking him from the side, but mathematics, guys... Lee Haney definitely deserved to place over Gary Stridham at the 1988 Mr. Olympia event. I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. Hit thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Have a fantastic day.